विच ऑपरेट इन डिस्क्रीट टाइम एज वेल एज डिस्क्रीट स्टेट स्पेस both of them are discrete with respect to this uh, markov chains right uh, so wherever we have uh, uh, wherever we have uh, applications which are measuring the values of a particular variable right uh, values of a variable at specific predefined points in time let's say on a monthly basis on a yearly basis kind of stuff at predefined points in time and the variable values also are more and more of a discrete set let's say uh, uh, let's say uh, the few states few states are possible jumping from one state to another state at the end of the period so typically what we would be uh, seeing is in these examples like uh, in the insurance industry we may see a no claim bonus system in the hr world we may see a performance appraisal system or probably uh, in the banking world or in the risk management world we may look at uh, a credit rating system all these things they are they can very well be modeled as markov chains because they operate in discrete state as well as discrete time space and along with that they satisfy a markovian property what is this markovian property the probability of transition from state i to state j is dependent only on the state uh, probably whatever is the probability of transition from state i to state j at time t should be dependent uh, only on the state the previous state not all the earlier states right so the it, it's as good as saying okay what is the probability of xt is equal to uh, some state j given xt minus 1 equal to j1 xt minus 2 equal to j2 so on all we are saying is this can this should be simplified as the probability of xt equal to j given xt minus 1 equal to j1 only this much so which mean the information that is pertaining to time periods t minus 2 t minus 3 and all should not be applicable only then we call that kind of a process as a markovian process and if that markovian process is more applicable to discrete time as well as discrete state space we call those kind of items as markov chains so in any markov chain probably the first thing that is important for us is find out the transition probabilities means from state i to state j right when i talk about uh, the words here some of the terms are very much uh, important for us so when i look at a word transition probability so moving from state i to state j what is the probability so when i am representing pij it is the probability of moving from state i to state j and here generally we may denote it as mn mean from time m to time n so it's as good as writing probability of xn equal to j given xm equal to i what is the probability associated with this so but in general what we look at it is this is an n minus m step 
transition matrix. So for each step P i j, this is called as one step transition matrix means within one time period, within one time period, what is the chance of moving from state i to state j? So it's as good as saying, okay, uh, a person, uh, a particular company today is uh, operating at AAA credit rating. So what is the probability that within one year, a, a bank, or a company which is operating at AAA level will go to AA level. So this is what uh, is called as one step probability. Similarly, when I say two step, within two years or within two periods, what is the chance that a firm that is currently at AAA rating may go to AA rating within two periods? So this is called as two step probability, two step transition. So whenever I am talking about uh, end stage transition matrix, it is a uh, proverb. It is uh, nothing but within end time periods. What is the chance that uh, uh, an entity which is uh, currently in state I moves to state J? So here, under this scenario, we talk about a set of equations. How we solve those kind of transition probabilities? This transition probabilities can be solved using. Chapman Kolmogorov equations. This can be solved using Chapman Kolmogorov equations. All we are talking about them is the probability of uh, going from state I to state J at any point in time is same as probability of going from state I to state K and again from K to J. And this is all case for all case we are talking about going from state i to state k multiplied by state k to state j and of course within that time interval itself so m to l and l to n so intermediately probably it's as good as writing okay if i'm talking about uh, within two years going to state j from state i it means, okay, within one year from I to K and probably from K to J plus, okay, within one year going from K I to L and L to J plus probability within one year going from I to X multiplied by X to J. All these the summation of all these things is what we talk about the probability of going from i to j within a two year period. So this kind of an equation, one thing which we have to be clear with, this kind of an equation is what we call as a chapman Kolmogorov equation, wherein we are looking at going from i to j is nothing but uh, a summation over going from